Are you ready for a home run of a story? Imagine a baseball legend with nearly 900 home runs and a batting average of 301. Sounds too good to be true, right? Wrong. This is the real deal. This player is recognized as one of the most incredible batters by none other than all-time hits leader Pete Rose and Hall of Famer Tom Seaver. But wait, there's more. This legend also led Japan to victory at the World Baseball Classic. Allow me to introduce you to the unknown king, Sadaharu Oh, a player whose incredible feats will leave you speechless. The Legend of the Unknown King Sadaharu Oh, the Unknown King, was born in Sumida, Tokyo on May 20, 1940. Oh's childhood was as humble as they come, but what he lacked in wealth, he made up for in his burning passion for the game of baseball. From a young age, O8 slept and breathed baseball, playing it at school, at home, and with his friends. His dedication to the sport was so intense that he consumed any knowledge he could find on it, adopting a Ted Williams mentality and practicing his swing for hours on end. But it wasn't until he made it onto the Waseda Jitsugio High School baseball team that O's true talent started to shine, and in 1957, at the Japanese National High School Baseball Invitational Tournament, aka the Spring Koshin, over 30 schools gathered to compete for glory. O's team, Waseda Jitsugi Ohai, was among them, and they had a secret weapon, their second ace pitcher, Sadaharu O. Oh. But little did he know that this tournament would be the spark that ignited his meteoric rise to greatness. O oh was a true leader on and off the field, respected by his teammates for his incredible skill and unwavering confidence. Unknown to them, he was hiding a painful secret. Earlier in the year, O had suffered blisters to his pitching hand that would have left many other pitchers on the sidelines, but not O. He could have easily bowed out of the tournament to let his hand heal, but he knew his team needed him. O was a warrior, a legend in the making. He pitched through the pain and led his team to victory in the tournament's first game. But the blisters worsened as the tournament wore on, and an infection set in. O's hand was a mess of pain and agony at this point, but he never wavered. He pitched another total victory in the next game. However, his catcher noticed the blood on the ball and confronted him. O admitted the truth to his teammate but swore to secrecy. He had to keep playing no matter what. And so it went, with O pitching his team to another victory in Game 3. But with just one game left to play, the pain became too much. O knew that he would have to sit out the final match, a depressing thought for a player so dedicated to his craft. But despite facing excruciating pain, he helped lead his team to a victory, putting his name on the map and setting the stage for a legendary career. Some speculate that a herbal remedy from his father may have helped him push through, but no matter the reason, the fact remains that O emerged with the trophy. And that victory was just the start of his impressive career. After his heroic performance in the 1957 Spring Koshian Finals, where he miraculously pitched his team to victory despite a painful infection in his hand, O quickly caught the attention of professional teams. At just 19 years old, he signed with the Yamayuri Giants as a pitcher, but O's early years as a pro pitcher didn't quite live up to the promise he showed in high school. Luckily, fate intervened for him when Hiroshi Arakawa, the Giants hitting coach, took him under his wing. It would appear that Hiroshi Arakawa certainly had an eye for talent when he spotted a young Sadaharu O, and he wasted no time shaping him into a diamond in the rough. In fact, Arakawa taught O oh what some consider to be one of the quirkiest swings in baseball history, an almost flamboyant flamingo-like swing that saw O oh raise his leg toward the plate before lunging forward. But this was no mere gimmick. This new skill took O's oh game to soaring heights. After batting just 161 in his rookie season, O oh improved dramatically, jumping to an impressive 270 average in 1960 while also doubling his home runs. Though his performance slipped slightly in 1961, O oh made a stunning comeback in 1962, hitting 38 home runs, and just two years later, in 1964, he set a single record of 55 home runs, a record that he held for a remarkable 37 years until it was tied in 2001 and eventually broken in 2013. But O oh was no one-hit wonder. In both 1973 and 1977, he surpassed 50 home runs in a single season, and over the course of his 21-year professional playing career, O oh hit a jaw-dropping world record of 868 home runs across 2,786 hits. With a batting average of 301, he is a true legend of the game, belonging to that elite squad of successful batters who have batted 300. O oh was a true powerhouse on the field, with an impressive 15-time home 
home run championship win and an impressive 18-time All-Star team selection. He also had a remarkable five-time batting championship and was twice awarded the Japanese Central League's batting triple crown. And let's not forget the 11 Japan Series championships that he helped the Yamayuri Giants win while playing first base, a feat that truly showcases his talent. But as they say, all good things must come to an end, and O's professional career was no exception. In 1980, he retired from playing after a spellbinding career and moved into managing the Yamayuri Giants. Starting off as an assistant manager in 1981, O quickly rose to the top, being promoted to a full-time managerial position in 1984. He led the Giants to a Central League pennant in 1987, showcasing his exceptional leadership skills. However, he was asked to retire after the 1988 season. But O's passion for the game never did die down, and in 1955, he returned to baseball as the manager of the Fukuoka Daie Hawks, now known as the Fukuoka Softball Hawks. He won three Pacific League pennants and two Japan Series titles, a testament to his skills as a manager. However, O faced another challenge in 2006 when he was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Despite the setback, he underwent laparoscopic surgery to remove his stomach and surrounding lymph nodes, and he was back to coaching the Fukuoka Softball Hawks in no time. In 2008, O resigned as manager and became the executive of the Fukuoka Softball Hawks in 2009. Although O's career is truly remarkable, it's surprising to learn that he's relatively unknown to some baseball fans. But here's the thing. O's lack of recognition isn't because he wasn't a powerhouse on the diamond. Oh no, he was a true beast in every sense of the word. But because he never played in North America, where the National Hall of Fame only recognizes players who have plied their trade in the land of the free and the home of the brave. But this has kept many experts, analysts, and Hall of Famers from wondering what could have been if O had taken his talents to the MLB. Some believe that he would have easily equaled the staggering records he set in Japan, while others go as far to say he would have shattered them. Can you imagine O stepping up to the plate in Yankee Stadium, Fenway Park, or Dodger Stadium? The crack of the bat, the roar of the crowd, and the sheer excitement of watching a baseball legend in action would have been something to behold. And who knows, with the level of competition in the MLB, perhaps O would have risen to even greater heights, putting up even more insane stats and cementing his place in baseball lore. But regardless, Sadaharu O's story is one that is truly inspiring. His passion and love for the game of baseball are evident in his impressive achievements, which have earned him the nickname The Unknown King. O's record-breaking career as a first baseman for the Yamayuri Giants is one that will go down in history, with an incredible 301 batting average, 868 home runs, and 2,786 hits. But do you think Sadaharu O would have dominated if he was in the MLB? Or would he have equaled or surpassed his Japanese records? Or maybe the MLB might have been too much for him to handle? Let us know in the comments below. Well, that's the tale of the unowned king, and until next time, don't stop swinging for the fences.